Azure Data Lake Storage. Later, we'll see the comparison between the Azure Blob Storage and Data Lake Storage. And at last, we'll Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I hope that all of you are doing well, and I hope that all of you are doing great. And a very warm welcome to Metroveka. Thank you for joining us today's session. It's an immense pleasure to meet all of you. So our today's webinar is about Java open source projects. So before we start with anything, let's take a look at agenda. Today we will talk about introduction to Java, the fundamentals of Java, Java methods, and Java open source projects that we have. Now, moving on, let's start. Let's basically learn about introduction to Java. So let's basically talk about, you know, what exactly is Java. So talking about a couple of features. So Java is a language, uh, you know, which is free and open source software. So there is no investment which is being required. It's a high level programming language. So the father of Java basically is James Gosling. So it was released by Sun Microsystems in, in, the, in the year 1996. Now, talking about a couple of features of Java, it is distributed, secure. We basically can, uh, you know, with the help of which we can have a load sharing uh, easily if I want to use it in a load balancer or different proxies. It is possible I can use it uh, very effectively, very easily. It is object oriented, so real life concepts like, you know, inheritance and all can be applied easily. It basically is interpreted, platform independent. You can, uh, you know, run the code, most of the operating systems. So it's not like that you have to, you cannot basically migrate from one uh, environment to another. It's multi-threaded application, which basically means that you can run this in parallel, wherein I can have multiple threads of one uh, instance and all the threads basically can work in parallel. Now talking about Java fundamentals. So first is basically, uh, you know, operators, data types and variable. Talking about variable, what variable is? Variable basically is the name that you reserve in the memory area. For example, um, you know, I have a variable a, a equals to two. It means that in the variable a, I'm allocating value as two. So in my entire program, I can make a call and I can use that variable out. Next one that you basically have is instance variable, local variable. And the third one is the, um, you know, static variable. Static variable are those variables, the value does not get changed. You are going to append with a static keyword. Local variables are those variables which will have the scope within the program only. Talking about the operators, so we basically have primitive data type and non-primitive data type. Primitive data type are like booleans, you know, character, integral, which is predefined data type that we cannot change. Non-primitive data type are like string, you can define as per your requirement. Now, in the case of operators, Java support all the major operators that we have, like arithmetic, plus, minus, bitwise operator, you know, uh, and uh, gates and all. Next is logical operators, uh, which is the known and gate basically that we have. The relational operators, ternary operators, assignment, unary, and the shift operators. It supports basically majorly all the different type of operators that we have. Talking about now the Java methods. Now, what is a Java method? Basically, a method is a set of code that is grouped together to perform specific operation. So a method must be written inside a class. Each method has its own signature. So Java basically provides two types of method. First is predefined or standard library method. Second is user defined method. So in order to use a method, you need to perform two steps. One is method initialization and second is method invocation. If I talk about, um, you know, the Java method, as you can see on my screen, this is method initialization, wherein uh, your method can parameterize or non-parameterize. Parameterize basically means that you're passing a parameter in the query itself. Non-parameterize means that you're not passing the parameter over there. So uh, that basically is now talking about the method invocation. So uh, what is method invocation? So to use a method, uh, it needs to be invoked or you say invoking a method or you say calling a method. It's need one and the same thing. So here in this case, as you can see, we are invoking a method here. In this case, what we have done is we are uh, basically uh, uh, defining a method you can say here. And in this case, we are invoking the method that we have with the name. Now here in this case, uh, you know, when a program is going to invoke a method, the program control get transferred to the called method. So it can be either called by value or it can be either called by reference. Now, if you want to take a course from Edweka, how the structured learning is going to look like, in the very first class, we will learn about what is Java with the practical components of it. In the next class, we will learn about what is data handling and the functions with the practical hands-on. In the third class, we will learn about object-oriented programming, its core concept with the practical hands-on. In the fourth class, we will learn about serverless with the practical hands-on. In the fifth class, we will learn about 
packages, multi threading, different components of it, how you can basically make a single threaded application as a multi thread with a practical hands on. In the sixth class, we will learn about Java collection with the practical hands on. In the seventh class, we will learn about JDBC with the practical hands on. In the eighth class, we will learn about Hibernate with the practical hands on. In the ninth class, we will learn about Spring with the practical hands on. And the tenth class, we will learn about Spring Ajax and Design Patterns with the practical hands on. So you are going to have the entire, uh, you know, clarity of it. Okay. Now moving on towards the other topic, which is Java Open Source Project. Now, guys, I want to share one thing with you guys. Things can be uh, so in detail, but right now we basically have limited time, so that's why we are just covering a glimpse of it. Otherwise, you can basically get the opportunity to learn the things in detail. Uh, because right now, with every topic that I'm explaining right now, we uh, we can basically spend an hour in order to talk about it. But based on the limited time frame we have, we are just talking a glimpse of it. Otherwise, every topic in detail is a you know a very big topic. Now, talking about Java open source projects, guys. So we have various Java open source projects which are being available. You know, like ADM machine, text editor, sign up form. So taking this discussion a little bit in detail, the like ATM. So if we talk about problem statement, so this project is make, uh, you know, basically this project is to make an automated teller machine with user's account and password, bank account, with that user able to withdraw, deposit, and view their account balance. Now the requirement for this is to have core Java, JDK installed, and then Eclipse on your system. Now in the account privileges, uh, you basically should have the account number and uh, you know like account password. Uh, these fields you have to basically define in the account privileges. Next one that we basically have is text editor. In this problem statement is you have to create a simple Java editor in Java string. We will use a J text area, a J menu bar, and add. So J menu to it uh, will add J menu items. All the menu items will have HTML listener to detect any action. Requirement basically is going to have Java applet Eclipse IDE. And if you talk about advantages, it's basically efficient with the help of which you can perform all the operations. The next one that we have is sign up. The problem statement is uh, creating a single, uh, you know, sign up form with necessary requirements using Java uh, servlets and JSP. But the requirement basically is Java servlet and JSP, which is Java server pages, Eclipse IDE for uh, enterprise edition, Apache Tomcat 8.0 or higher, and CSS. And advantages if you talk about it's easy to develop and efficient. Now, all these like three projects that I have shared, open source projects, if you're going to take a course from us, you're going to have that advantage to learn about these things in detail. I hope that you have really enjoyed this session and you have learned a lot. So it's an immense pleasure to meet uh, you guys. Thank you for joining this today's session, guys, and uh, wishing all of you a great day ahead.